What's going on everyone? Got a brand new Blu-ray review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Incredibles 2. Comes out this Tuesday and I, this is one of my favorite films of the year. It's one of my most anticipated films of the year. The first Incredibles is one of my favorite films of all time. So revisiting this after coming out of the theaters. Do I still think it might be better than the first one? Let's talk about it. Before I get into any of the special features, I do have to say, I actually do still think this film is just as good as the original. I can't say it's better yet because I've been watching the original since I was younger, but I think from an animation standpoint and from a fast paced action standpoint, everything else in there in the animation wise is better than the original. Story wise, I think they're pretty much the same. Uh, I think the Syndrome was a stronger villain, but I think the family dynamics in this film were even better. The fact that Incredibles 2 did focus more on Elastigirl, I think, oh yeah, it could be a little bit cliche, but it wasn't. It worked for the character, and hearing just Holly Hunter's voice is just so serenading. I love Holly Hunter in general, and I think that's one of the best parts about Incredibles 2 is that it's just a very entertaining movie. It's so much fun, it's so much time consuming, and Jack-Jack is easily the big standout of the whole entire movie, which this is why I get to this point, and this is a great segue into one of the things I did want to mention about The Incredibles 2 is that on the Blu-ray they actually carry an all-new anti-Edna mini-movie and it's about when because of course Bob Parr Mr. Incredible visits the super suit designer Edna Mode looking for help with his high energy toddler Jack Jack and Edna pulls an all-nighter designing a suit to harness the baby's seamlessly limitless powers and I have to say I died laughing at this part. I love this little mini movie. I love when Pixar adds these things. They had a Jack-Jack one in the original Incredibles that I just thought was a blast with the babysitter. And I thought this one was even better. I mean, we get a little bit more of Auntie Edna, and I wanted even more of her in the movie, but it was nice to feel that this wasn't just like a deleted scene. This legit was a little short film to totally work for the movie. And there was even some more deleted scenes within the whole film. There's some super stuff, there's some heroes and villains that they go through, and a lot of production design, and just talking about the movie in general, It's a com there's nice commentary in here as well. I wish the commentary, though, did personally have the director talk about the movie I think that was something that was a little bit disappointing but we did get in inside commentary from a lot of the animators which was a little bit of a nice touch might I say if you did not see the short film bow for this movie you must it's one of the best short films Pixar has ever produced. It's on here. You got to check it out. Incredibles 2, if you're a fan of the original, you're going to like this one. If you weren't even a fan of the original and you just like, yeah, it was good, I think you might even like this one more. That's what I've gotten from a lot of people who have said the same thing. It's not just a superhero movie. This is very much Brad Bird, the director, taking on the spy genre in a different type of way. And that's one of the best things about The Incredibles. It carries a fantastic score. It's one of the best films of this year. If you did not check this out in theaters, this is the time to get. It. go pick it up this week i cannot recommend this film enough on blu-ray it's great the audio is great the animation holds up it's brilliant i've already pre-ordered my 4k copy because god damn i had to but incredible stew is worth your buy it's coming out this tuesday let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know if you're going to be picking up The Incredibles 2. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. If you guys are new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Of course, if you guys are also new, hit up Sandwich on Films because right down there, you guys are going to actually get into giveaways. You can check out some advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news. Guys, of course, until next time, thanks so much for watching and stay classy.